Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you what is currently on my iPhone 14 Pro. We got it right here. I'm gonna talk about the customizations that I have, my overall setup and stuff like that. It looks super clean and minimal and I can't wait to show you. I posted a picture of it last week or so and a lot of people really liked it. And I know some people that are subscribed to the channel really wanted me to show you a what's on my iPhone video. So as requested, here is what's on my iPhone. Before we get into the actual setup, I do want to talk about the case that I'm using and I'm currently using the Sky Silicone case made by Apple. It's a super vibrant spring color. It just comes to life and it really pops with the space black iPhone that I currently have. I love it. It's been really good for me and it's holding up pretty well after two months. So getting into the setup, I recently released new wallpapers. So if you're interested, this is the wallpaper that I have currently for my setup. I really like it. It's from my motion pack and I think it came out great. If you like free wallpapers, I'd recommend two apps. There's the app called Backdrops, which gives really nice wallpapers, as well as an app called Unsplash, which also gives really nice wallpapers. Both are different. So I'm going to give you those two options for different aesthetics as you create your setup. The app links will be in the description as well as my wallpaper packs if you'd like to support me as a creator. On the lock screen, my setup is super simple. I have the date at the top, alongside it the current temperature outside, and I chose this font style in the color white. For the home screen, I also kept it really simple and clean. The top section is a widget, and for this widget, I'm using an app called Widgy Widget. The name of the widget is called Today by an author named PK's iPhone. I just found this Widgy Widget on Reddit. I thought it looked really cool. The widget has the day of the week, the current month and date. It tells you the current temperature outside as well as the high for the day, and it has a little sun icon. Unfortunately, with the way iOS is set up, you have to have the app name under the Widgie widget, so it's going to say Widgie. We can actually remove app names from app icons, but I can't do it with the Widgie widget. So it kind of messes up the aesthetic a little bit. I did add two touch actions to this widget. So if I touch the day of the week, it opens up the calendar app. And if I touch the weather, the weather app opens. If I slide over to the left, I have the Bible app verse of the day widget, and I also have my device's current battery percentage. So right now, it'll show me like my phone, my watch. If I'm close to my AirPods, it'll give me that. It's pretty cool. For customization on my home screen apps, I'm currently using an icon pack called Fluffle. Unfortunately, it is a paid icon pack, but you do get your money's worth coming in three themes. So you get a light mode, a dark mode, as well as kind of a colorful icon pack as well. And personally, I think it looks fantastic. It kind of gives off a 3D vibe to it and it just looks really cool. You can make these custom icons really easily using the Apple Shortcuts app. That's how I'm able to have it on the screen as well as with the app's name removed. To show you really quick, you can open up the Shortcuts app, click the plus icon and choose Open App. You can select the app you want to add, tap the drop down menu, and tap Add to Home Screen. Choose the file or photo that you want to add as your icon, and then just make sure you delete the name of the app or shortcut. And now it's on your screen. So for convenience, I wanted to have these apps on my home screen. So I have the Apple Mail app, Apple Notes, Google Home, Apple Maps, Apple Wallet, Apple Reminder, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. On the dock, I have the default phone and messaging apps. I have Safari there, and I also have Apple Music. For any of the apps that I have on my phone, I try to have a purpose for it, and I don't really keep apps that I'm not using too much on my iPhone. That's just the way that I like it. Most of my favorite apps are actually the Apple stock apps. It's kind of weird, but I just prefer it over having a third party reminders app or another calendar app. I just like it all seamless amongst my Apple ecosystem. I also have the search button here because I use it quite a bit. You can actually turn this feature on or off in your settings. All you do is you go to settings, go to home screen, 
And the last option, search, can be turned off or on. Speaking of settings, I also have the always on display currently on. If I swipe down, I get my control center. I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about this feature, but I think it's pretty good. I currently have everything turned on except for text size, magnifier, guided access, feedback assistant, and accessibility shortcuts. But everything else is turned on and it works really well. And if we swipe to the right, you have the app library, which I'm hoping to get a nice update with iOS 17. I use it sometimes, but it's not the most practical way of using and searching for apps. I much prefer just searching for it with the search button. Well, that's it guys. That is my current setup. I think it looks really nice. I love the aesthetics. I did do a more tutorial style video of how to do setups like this if you want to check it out. It'll be linked at the end of the video. If you like this kind of video, make sure to give this video a like. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Well guys, that's it for my setup. Thanks for watching, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.